Okay, in that video, I would um, take you through a basic course in data analytics using a real data from the Nigerian gas industry. Now, here I have um, the data from LNG showing the prices of um, gas in different um, states across the Nigerian, um, uh, across Nigeria. And the data is such that I have um, for 5 kg and for 12 kg, I want to analyze the 12 kg to teach how you can work with data whenever you have um, such data. Now, by now you must have been aware that data analytics is the collection, cleaning, manipulation, uh, transformation, visualization of data for the purpose of collecting insights and trend from this data. Now, whenever you are given a data, you are expected to do five things. One, you are expected to collect the data from where they are stored. Two, you are expected to clean the data. Three, you are to transform the data. This transformation may include such things like um, um, validation, such things like calculation using formula and functions, or creating pivot tables, or, the, or um, finding the highest and the lowest value in that data. The next thing you're expected to do is to create visuals of that data. And from the visuals, you make a dashboard. And using the dashboard, you could um, present this data in such a way that at one glance, people could get insight, could collect intelligence from the pieces of data available. Now, I want to put these five things to use in teaching this basic data analytics course. I'm using a very basic data so that um, you could uh, get to understand everything about working with data from a very beginner's um, standpoint. And so the first thing you want to do is to look through the data you've been given to um, understand the data first. So this is the data as collected. I am looking through the data. It has um, all the states in their different regions, and um, the data has listed the uh, states with the highest average prices and the states with the lowest average prices. Now, it has given me average prices for June 2022 and for June 2023. That will allow me to get um, a year by year increase a uh, percentage increase and it's giving me average of um, the prices of um, na liquefied natural gas in may 2023 and in june 2023 that again will allow us to do a month over month um, percentage increase but that calculation i don't want to bother you with it so the first thing i want to look at is this is my raw data i would need to copy this raw data to what i can work with and so I copy out this data in this manner. I put out the different states and I put out different regions and I copy um, out the average prices of gas in June 2022, average prices of gas in May 2023 and average prices of gas in June 2023. And I have it all set out this way. I would choose to um call this sheet my uh, modified data so i've called it modified data okay there's so much i would work with formula but instead of using formula i want to create a pivot table so i'll simply click on one data i'll go to insert and from insert i'll choose pivot table and um, i want it to be in a new sheet i would ensure to add it to model i want to add it to model so that when i want to control the data i want to make the data dynamic i can so easily do that so i add the model and i click ok and i have that 
data all set out. Okay, so the pivot table is now uh, created. Uh, once again, this is how you create the pivot table. You click on one data point, you go to insert, and from insert, you choose um, pivot table. You ensure that it is on new worksheet and you ensure to add to model and you click OK. A pivot table space would immediately create. When you get to the pivot table, this is called the pivot table fields. And on the pivot table fields, you want to design your data in the way you want it. It's important to mention that a pivot table summarizes data without the use of formula. A pivot table summarizes data without the use of formula. And so if you want to find the averages, you want to find the counts, you want to find the sum of your data, one good way and one fast way of getting it is using the pivot uh, table. And so I have the pivot table here. I want to begin to create it. You create it by just clicking and dragging. And on the pivot table, there are four fields, very important. You have the roles, you have the values, you have the columns, you have the filter. And the, the values is where your quantitative data, your numeric data go to and your quality data such as um, the, the, the names of the state or the region, they go to the roles. And so I want to create my first uh, data, or my first pivot table, I'll simply click on state and by default it will go to the roles and I would click on the average of 2022 and by default it will go to values. Now because for each state I want to have um, the region so that I could classify the state into a region, I would want to um, click on the region and so the region is now somewhere there. I don't want it here, I want to filter through so I'll pull the region and keep somewhere there. And so I have my first pivot table. I want to click on this twice and change it to um, states. And uh, this is a sum of averages for uh, 2022. I may want to edit that a little to have it as just averages for 2022. And so I have my first pivot table. It has the average of 2022. While I'm still there, I could create the next pivot table by um, just highlighting this, copy, give it some space, and um, I put it here. I put it there, and the pivot table is not out, meaning it has um, it has it has not copied properly so i want to do this again i have my first pivot table here i want to copy it and put in the next okay it is proper when you see it this way when this comes up you've done it properly so i could uncheck this and check this and I have it, I have the sum of May 2023. I could again quickly copy this, copy all of it. Quickly copy all of that and take to the next space somewhere there. And again, I paste. If this comes up, I have copied properly. I un uncheck this. And um, I check that. And there you go, the three qualities I have. If I go back to my modified data, I have just um, three things. So this against this, this against that, this against this, that's all the data points and um, the KPIs I will need to show. So I am back here. I want to turn each of these into a chart. So I begin with the first one, looking at the number of data points. I want to look at what um, 
data point would um, or what visual type would best describe this data from what I'm having here I am seeing that um, the bar chart may be the best visual for my data so I click on one data point I it must be one data point I go to insert and to insert I go to pivot charts and in pivot charts I look at this data I look at this which is best for me this will show trend I don't want trend because it is just one year I think this would be best for me this is a better data so I click on it I have the first data point I could want to remove this no that's not what I want to remove I want to click on this and I want to hide and to click on this and I want to remove and I want to click on this and have it to be June June 2022 that is my um, first visual don't worry about the visual when I begin to slice through I can present it to show only um, different regions but I'm, I'm allowed to uh, design this further if I want if I don't want all of these um, this background I could choose to design it further and all of that so I have my first chart I want to drag it properly and um, keep somewhere there I would build the same chart for this again I'll click on one data point I would go to insert I would choose a uh, pivot chart and I want it to look exactly like the one I just have so I will still choose these bars and again I click on OK and I have chart number two I don't want this to show so I can hide all of that and I can remove total from the chart and this I can rename to May May 2023 so I have my second visual position I'm going to the next so I click on one data point I go to insert insert I choose a um, pivot table and again I want it to be line bars I right click and hide this click on this and remove I want to change this to June 2023 and so I have that now when you have pivot charts and pivot tables you can control them using very fine buttons called control buttons or slicers so I want to add slicers to it so I click on one data point I go to insert uh, insert and insert I want to look for slicer I click on slice and what they want to slice I want to slice them by regions so I click on region and I click on OK you would see what a slicer does I, if I want to see only the southeast this would also just be showing me the southeast that is the beauty of um, the, 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 the slicer and so if I want to see north central I can see north central only now the slicer is affecting only this table and the, the chart made from that table. If I want the slicer to affect everything, this is why you have to add to model when you are creating the pivot table. If you don't add to model, you will not be able to do this part I want to do now. So you just right click on the body of the slicer and you go to report connections where at the moment only one is checked you will need to check all of them you check all of them that way I have, I have it all checked and with the slicer at the moment once I click on the southeast it will show me the position of all um, the the all of them in the southeast all of them in the southwest and all of um, them in the south
Okay, so now if you look at this, I have an error. The southeast is showing two. One is um, an error in spelling. So how do I correct that so that I don't have two southeast? I don't have Enugu showing up alone in a different region. I would go to the modified data. I go to Enugu and I correct the spelling to southeast. I would come back to where I have the data and right click on right click on the body of the slicer and refresh. Once you refresh, it will draw data from the modified data and it has made it properly now. So I only have one southeast. So when I click on southeast now and have Enugu as part of them. And so this is how this data should be. So I I am good with that now. I have my data all um, properly laid out. And so I want to go to, I want to call this um, charts. And so I want to go to a new portion where I want to make um, my dashboard. So I want to rename this as um, dashboard. Remember after you've you're done with making visuals your next business is having dashboard so when i have this i want to go to uh, views and in views i want to shut out the heading i want to shut out the formula bar i want to shut out the um grid line so i have um, this free space that way i want to go back to home and uh, I want to look at layout. In layout, I want to change the themes of how I want my data to present and everything on this table, how I want it to present. So I want to choose um, the Nigerian state is green, so I want to choose a green background somewhere there. I could um, also look at the colors available. Uh, when I choose green, what is a green I want to choose? I think I like um, this green. So I want to first begin with uh, creating my header. It's very important you have a header in making your dashboard. And so on the header, let me have that and then. Um, I have something inside of it. I allow this to be that the green and allow this to be white, so that right. So I could have, I could say the Nigerian gas gas prices dash board i want to centralize that i want to bold in that choose um, a very bold font and make that as bold as possible Okay, so next I want to go to where my charts are stored. I'm going to grab these charts by just copying them, bring them to where my dashboard is, and I uh, paste. I have that, I copy that, come to dashboard, and I drop that there. I pulled it properly, and um, I have it here and I'll go to the next chart. I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna come to dashboard and I drop it there. I put it up and um, we'll drag it down a little.
I want to go to the next chart. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna bring it to the dashboard. I'm gonna keep it there. The slicer is important. Without it, I will be making many of this data. So I go back to um, chart. I want to look for the dashboard. I'm going to pick it out. I want to bring it to dashboard. I want it to be here. So I want to go to setting of this dashboard. Uh, that's the caption. Okay, something else I want with it. Okay, so I have the options. What do I want it? I don't want it in one column, I want it in six columns. So, six columns instead of having it in one column. There you go. A better way of putting my slicer. So, I have it here. I want to choose a nice um, orientation for it. So I have it there. So I want to see on the increases. I want all of them to be showing, not central. I want to see this. I want to see that. I want to look at the northwest. I want to look at the southeast. I want to look at the south, south. Good, beautiful. Okay, so I have um, my dashboard the way I want it, but uh, there's still more work to do around it so that this works. I click on the first chart. I want to go to the design of it. Uh, what do I want to design out of it? I, I don't want, um, I want to click on this rather and remove the axis. I put by the axis, I want to remove the grid lines. Okay. Which is um, a better bet for me. What again do I want to do? I want to um, have the values stated on top that way. So that I could off out um, the what I have down here. That's a better way of showing data. I want to click on this and um, more options. What are the options available? Do you want to see averages? Do you want to see all of that are available options. So if you don't want all of this to show, you could just go back and I have it back there. So I could do the same thing here. Could the same thing here. Okay, so more work. I could begin from this, and I want to look at the filter, look at the border. And I want to scroll down around the border <clears throat> that way. And there are rounded borders. You want you want to put up um, a border line, a solid border line. You don't want to be automatic. I want the border line to be a solid border line where I could change it to um, give me something very thicky very thick green so you see all of that all of that are possible it could change it back to this these are all possible things around the borderline okay this is borderline do i want it to be quite thick yes i want it to be quite thick so i could do all of that and the borderline could come up very thick as you can see out there 
I would may like it to leave it to be black and uh, very possible. So let's see what I've done. This is how the chart is now presenting a very beautiful chart, if I must say. And so I could go to do the same thing on the next, create a borderline on the, the chart. And so I want to click on it again. I want to go to borderline. I want it to be a solid line. I want the solid line to be black. I want it to have some thickness to about two. I want it to be rounded corners. And the second one is now ready. It's beautiful, very beautiful chart. I want to do the same thing for the third. I want to turn the borderline to a solid line. I want to make it black. I want to have its width to about two. And I'll go down there and make it rounded corners. So I have um, my third chart all beautifully displayed. So if I fold up that, this is my dashboard. Wow, this is something very beautiful. You're already um, turning out data into um, a very beautiful outlook. Okay, so there we go. This is a dashboard. Oh, there is something more. There's something more you need to do around the dashboard. So I want to click on this. Is there something more to do here? Is there a layout to change? No layout to change. So I want to see it's not east and not central and that and that and that. A very beautiful price wash. And so I want to go back to the raw data. On the raw data, there are some data points that are important that I need to place here. What are these data points? If I um, get to the raw data, the raw sheet, before I got, got to the modified sheet, remember there's a raw sheet. I go back to the raw sheet. Down the raw sheet, you would see states with the average prices. And I want to display the states with the average prices and what they have. I also want to display the state with the lowest prices. These are very important metric KPIs I should have on the dashboard. So I go back to the dashboard and I want to bring up this um, all important matrix. And um, I want to go back to this. I want to look for shape and I want to pick out a shape and uh, I drop it here. I want to name that, uh, allow it there, and I want to name what that is. So I go back to those boxes. Those boxes are a lifesaver. I'm going to pick one more. I'm going to bring it down here. I need to make it white. So there you go. What do you want to have on these boxes? I'm going to be asking. And to have the state with the highest prices on these boxes. It's a very important metrics if I am to properly um, visualize and demonstrate the beauty of the price changes and the trend of the price in the Nigerian state. And so I want to have that allow me to uh, click on these and join that together. Yes, with right click, you could group. That thing you're doing, what document can also be done here. So I group. I put that properly. Group, so I have a third one, I have all of them all aligned. I would want to bring this to the four. So it's in the four. Very beautiful dash. Okay. So we 
are now making our um, dashboard such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful one. So I have my data all laid out. I want to put a writing chip. What I want to write here, I want to write cross river has value, copy the value, go to the dashboard, put it down there. <clears throat> you want to ensure that it is bold enough. So you want to centralize it, you want to bring it down, you want to change this to something big, thick. Okay, so I have it there. And I need to mention that this is for um, Cross River. So I want to have this here. And all right, Cross River. Again, I want to centralize it. And I'll do the same for Go here, Ogun. I pick that. Okay. Um. Remember, the dashboard is um, about 60% um, data work and 40% uh, work of design. These are the 40% the design part of the dashboard. 40% design. You have to design it to in such a way that at one glance it is communicating to end users. Now, if you compare what we have now to the raw data we have, you agree with me that stakeholders having a meeting looking at this would have better insight than um, looking at plenty numbers scattered here and there. Everybody is afraid of numbers, but everybody appreciates pictures. And the work of a data analyst is to convert numbers to very beautiful pictograms, charts, and graphs that at one glance end users of a particular data can obtain insight call collect trend collect intelligence for business purposes that is the business of data analytics and so in less than few minutes i have converted a whole chunk of data into some very beautiful um chart now not not just beautiful chart this chart is dynamic if i am tired of seeing at the moment i am looking at um the gas prices in the southwest if i want to see that again i'll simply click on the southeast and this chart will change to show me southeast i could move to northwest and the chart will change to show me the gas prices in the northwest if i'm tired of seeing the northwest i could go to north central and just by click of the both things you can pick out um the gas prices in the nigerian state for um, June 2022, May 2023, and June 2023, which allows you to make a year-by-year -year comparison, a year-by-year -year increase, and um, a month-over-month -month increase. And so I want to pick up the last um, highest data point. I want to have an umbra, and the umbra is having that value. I put it up there. And um, I want to have this, and I click on that. 
I want to go home and drop it down and centralize it and turn it into some very um, big work of art. Okay, I'm still working on this. I want to bring this down here and say this is. Anambaranambra. I want to click on that. I want to go home. And make that right up. That right up needs to be in a different color, not black. So I'm looking for where to. Um, okay, so we have that. I want to align that properly. Pull it down a little. What exactly did I write here? Don't have it as state with highest. Oh, well, let me see how it was described there. Still with the highest average prices. Still with highest average prices. And I like that. I want to make them bold. I'll increase the fonts. Okay, so there we go. This. Um, Pivot uh, uh, dashboard is already becoming something amazing, something beautiful, something that um, communicates the beauty of data. And so I have this all beautified, all picked out. Something, one more thing I need to um, create. Now, the way it is. I have not compared the month to month and the, 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 the year to year increase. How do I get to do that? So something is missing in this data. I don't have um, the month over month increase, a percentage increase, and the year over year percentage increase. How do I get that? I get back to my chart where I have the chart data. Where I have the chart data is also where I have. Um, um the i have a type pivot tables so that's where i want to work on i want to first go and off the uh, i want to off out the pivot table so i have all of it now i go to where i have average of 2022 that pivot table and there i want to add the average of 2023 that's what that would give me would be the year to year um average so i could click on that year to year average i want to create a new pivot chart this time this chart will need to be a trend why is it a trend well will i choose, choose a trend line i'll choose a trend line because it is over a, over a period you choose a trend line which uh, some of you refer to as time series over a period so i you know to the trend line to actually describe the, the the little little changes in the trend price over a period and so i have that trend i'm gonna click on it i don't want all of these trend lines if i wanted it to be in the blues i could change one to red and um, 
have it different. Okay, so I hide what I don't want to see and take this out. I could have the trend point, I could have the key point just that way. Okay, so I have the first trend point, which is um, the year to year trend. I want to look at this other point and I want to add um I want to add the next month to it so I have this trend now if I was in the I could also do 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 this with a heat map so I have this again I want to go to this and I am interested in again I need a trend line so I have my second trend line, all the things that I don't want to see, I want to hide it. So we have that. You need to add that to, um, need to add that to this so that it would also be controlled here. I need to come here again and right click and report connection. The tunities I've created are not there. I need to ensure that they are there. So I click, I add, I add that to my connections. I would click on this, copy and bring to the dashboard. Okay, now watch how that is now showing a very beautiful trend. And that is a trend line. That is the trend line. And I want to um, copy this to the dashboard again. I like to have it as a trend line, a very beautiful trend. So these are, um, this is a year to year. I need to put a title to it, please. A chart title. Uh, chart axis. So I want to call this the month to month. I want to call this uh, in the chat title. I want to call this the year to year. You know, forget that there's no point having um, grid lines. There are no point having grid lines on the body of um, okay. Once again, you can um, design it. Go to the border, make it a solid border. Uh, give it up to two make it rounded same thing here give it a solid border make it up to two make the border rounded and so that is how you make a very beautiful um, dashboard here it could be where you write out your highlights the state with um, the lowest average prices you could um, put the last part of 
uh, making your dashboard is writing out a brief of what your dashboard is saying and this is what um, in most cases people don't get to put out now you've plotted all of this graph and then um, shown it on a dashboard now, anybody looking at this dashboard at one glance could have a good wrap of what the data is saying but it's something that we need the data analyst to be able to do and that is to be able to interpret all of these charts in in writing so that while end users are looking at the chart they can also tell or interpret what the different charts and visuals is communicating so let's go through this data or these visuals again now when i click on each of these region i want to look closely remember this is now showing the month to month as i look at this carefully the fluctuation is in the month over month percentage increase and the year over year percentage increase the the the, the, the fluctuation is not very much at any point that's in the north central uh i could actually see that um, if um in the north central quara states is um the worst hit the prices of gas in Kwara State in June has um, tremendously increased. Uh, same thing here. Uh, this is Kwara State. This is Nasarawa. They're all standing up there. But in comparison to a year ago, Kwara State stands out as the highest um, state where gas prices actually significantly increase for 12 kg. And so as I look at um, the northeast, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to see anything. The northeast, the fluctuation, month over month, um, it's not much. I, uh, the, the look at the lines. The lines are just closely knit together. So in the northeast, I would say that between May and June. Their prices have been um, seemingly the same. And between last year, 2022 and 2023, the difference in prices have not been very uh, significant. As I go to the Northwest, and I want to look at this, look at the lines, the trend lines are just um, so very close together, no significant um, uh, difference again as i go to the southeast in the southeast over the last um, two months that's between may and june there have been a significant uh, 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 difference in the prices of gas i would want to put that down i'd want to um, show my end users that um, there is a significant twist in the prices of gas so i want to put on the first thing uh, there is a significant um, significant difference in the prices of gas between may and june 2023 how did i know that this curve tells me that look at this curve there is a significant difference in enugu and ebony the year over year percentage difference is also very um significant the year over year is also very very significant for um those two states and so i have that i want to go to the next what else is this data saying and so i want to go to the south south and in the south south in a cry bomb in the year over year percentage increase is where we are having um, 
in a pie bomb and in a dough in Bayasa and Cross River are the prices in um, a year, a two years comparison has um, been fairly been the same, but in a quiet bomb and in um, a dough, there is a significant difference in the year to year, uh, year over year percentage increase. Again, I want to look at um, the Southwest. Uh, the Southwest, in the last um, two months, the last two months, there is there have been significant differences. This is in the in the southeast. So let's um, also put this out. in the southwest the average prices of gas is higher in June 2023 than in May in all states. This line will show you that in all states there was a significant um, increase in the prices of gas. In the year over year um, percentage increase Ekiti had a significant increase. Lagos and Ogun State so was not just fairly the same. In um, Ondo, Oshun, and um, Oyo, again, if you look closely, you would see that the year over year increase between 2022 and 2023, um, Ekiti, Ondo, Oshun, and um, Oyo State had um, um, a significant increase in the prices of gas so to put that in 2023 uh equity on the ocean and or your states your state had significant increase in the prices of gas compared to 2022. Okay. What else are you putting down? You could look up the highest and the lowest. You could tell us that um, Cross River State is the is a state with the highest price of gas sale uh, price of gas in June 2023 you will need to tell us that um, Adamawa Adamawa is the state with the lowest price of gas. You may want to add other things, but this is this part is very important. You should be able to summarize what your data is saying. 
very important to summarize exactly what is what all the things you've plotted, all the, the graphs and the charts you're showing here, what exactly are they communicating? And if you're able to successfully put this together, you have created a very significant um, um, dashboard for this data. And the next part where uh, most persons are not able to work is being able to send this out. How do you get to print this dashboard and send out? To print this dashboard, you need to go to layout and to layout, you um, go to print area and uh, you have this you need to select the print area you you are interested to print that way and um, you want to ensure that the print area is so uh, yeah, for most persons you may, may be asked to remove the slicer in it but if you remove the slicer this is how clumsy um, this work may be looking so you may need to we need you may need to print different pages and so i would want to put a slicer and print north central let us put a slicer and print the northeast let us put a slicer and print um the northwest and in order so i would have um six different um printouts for this data that way it gives me a better comprehension or gives end users a better comprehension of what I have analyzed. Now understand that this is a dynamic dashboard. And that's what I have just done is to do one, collect data, two, clean data, three, manipulate and transform data and use the pivot table as the transformer for my data. Remember, a pivot table summarizes your data without the need to use formula and function. And so, in the pivot table, I, I, I built three pivot tables and I use the region as a filter or as a drill down, if you like. And so that for every plot, I could, um, the region could filter out each of the data points. Then I added a slicer. The slicer makes my data very dynamic, allowing me to see uh, different points and different charts and different variations and trend of the data I have um, plotted. This is how you make a very standard and beautiful dashboard. This is a beginner's course. To go deeper, you may need to work on more complex data points and uh, in whether it's a complex data point or a simple data point as this, all there is to it is five steps. Collect the data, clean the data, transform the data, turn them into visual, create a dashboard, and um, write the insights your data communicates. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more on how to build dashboard. And Con, um, carry out data analytics on different data. This data analytics type I have just done is the um, diagnostic data analysis, which basically I've said what um, the data is saying, basically has outlaid exactly what is the problem uh, or showcase, describe what the data is saying.